Well, hello there. New Melon Design here with a quick lighting setup tutorial. As you can see, we have our model ready and prepped. So let's start applying some lights to it. I put all my lights on different layers for different portion of the house. So it is easier to work with and navigate. So let's switch on our first layer. Here we have two spotlights at the back of the house for these two rooms. As you can see, here is the shape. I changed the color to be much warmer, which will uh, give us a nice contrast against the environment. And here is the value that I use for these two lights. They are facing outside to mimic the light coming out of those rooms. Let's head on to uh, photo mode and have a look what the lights will look like. We can preview them by pressing F8 on your keyboard. And there you have it. Moving on to our next set of lights. Let's switch them on on this layer. Here we have uh, the lights in the living room. So let's start at the back of, of this room. I have one light in here. As you can see, it is facing uh, this wall and the porch. Here are the values. Same light, same color but I brought the brightness uh, down quite a lot because it is reflecting from this metal surface so you don't need it so strong. I have two more lights in here. Once again, spotlight. Pretty much the same, uh, same setup and values. Same lights, same color, same uh, intensity. These two lights are facing these two windows. Once again, mimicking the light coming through the windows onto the environment. I have three more lights in here on the ceiling, I believe. Yep. So these three lights on the ceiling are here to evenly illuminate this wall and also a portion of, of the ceiling. Now, as you can see, uh, I angle them towards the bottom of this wall to give it an even spread on the wall. Because if you angle them directly uh, to the to the center of your floor, it will create a shadows around uh, this wall because the shape of the lights, as you can see, is a cone. So that's why you angle them a little bit uh, towards the bottom of the wall and you will get basically a nice even spread on your ceiling and mainly on this wall in the living room. There is one more light in here on this uh, floor lamp and that is pretty much a straightforward change the shape of of the cone in here or basically different light. Uh, brightness pretty much the same and the color of the light as well. So let's quickly preview these lights. Once again pressing F8 key. Maybe we'll need to work a little bit of uh, the in intensity later but here we have it the preview of those lights. Let's switch on our next uh, layer this uh, bedroom very similar setup to uh, to the living room we have a couple of spotlights on the ceiling once again they are facing the bottom of of this wall to give it uh, even spread of the light and two more lights facing these two windows to mimic the light light coming uh, through the windows onto the outside once again same color um, a little bit more intensity as I can see in here and same light. Quick preview in the photo mode, pressing F8, there you go. We have the light coming through those windows and lighting this uh, environment in here in front of the house nicely. One more layer in here, let's switch it on and these are these uh, spotlights up here. Now there is one more thing I have to do but I have to go to a uh, material select this uh, material on the spotlights and go to uh, settings emissive and bring it up that will give me the the glow on those spotlights they all have the same material so I just adjust in here and they will all get the same value and there is one more light in here once again Go to settings, emissive, and bring it up. Same thing in here. 
confirm. Now when we, ho when we go to photo mode, as you can see, press F, F8 for preview. And now you have the, the material is glowing. It is uh, emitting uh, a light. And basically uh, these spotlights are casting uh, a light in here in front of the house. We have the lights coming through the window. Here is the a little spotlight uh, on the porch. We have the living room lighting the, the back porch in here. And we have the light coming from uh, uh, this portion of the house, the back portion of the house through the windows and lighting the environment in front of it. So it is, this is not 100% uh, accurate. This is just a viewer. So you need to do a couple of uh, test renders with intensity and also uh, the shape of the light and uh, the, the direction of the light to get the best result. But for now, we'll just uh, go ahead and render this one and see uh, the difference. So thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.